we can learn a lot about how to live in the city from the Junko. We can learn about speciation from the Junko. Adaptation. Climate change. The brain. Hybridization. We can learn a lot about violence from the Junko. How genes affect behavior. Reproduction. We can learn a lot about mate choice. Evolution. Gene expression. Range expansion. Communication. We can learn a lot about maternal care from the Junko. Junkos are incredibly common birds that find their homes in North and Central America and likely your backyard. But it's their phenomenal diversification that makes them so unusual in the bird world, or the animal kingdom for that matter. Perhaps more than any other bird of North America, it has uh, really conspicuous variation that still seems to be within one species, from the gross to the subtles. You know, gross difference between an Oregon junco from the Pacific Northwest and the gray-headed junco. Uh, you know, no one ever would think those are the same species. Many juncos live in mountainous habitats and make their nests on the ground. And while scientists have been studying juncos for decades, we're still cataloging the number of species and subspecies. The birds' colors, as well as their beak and wing size, vary from population to population. But all North American juncos do have one similarity, dark eyes. And yet their relatives to the south have yellow eyes. Oh man, look at that. What the? <laughs> that yellow eye just was unbelievable. The dark-eyed juncos are all classified under one species, while the yellow-eyed juncos include four distinct species. Studies originating at UC Berkeley in the 1930s looked at the dark-eyed junco's diversification and determined that different junco populations interbreed easily, which is the primary reason the North American bird is considered one species. Recent genetic work reveals the same. Between dark-eyed junco forms, we find very few genetic differences. And that means different lineages, even though they look very different in terms of plumage, they're extremely young. So they diverged very, very recently, just a few thousand years ago. It's very rapid, but also it's very recent. And the juncos are still diversifying and changing as studies of the birds in San Diego are beginning to show. Junco populations in the mountains to the east previously used to winter in the city. But around 30 years ago, the birds began making the University of California campus their home year round. Scientists are now finding different physical traits, behaviors, and physiology in the city bird population compared to the population they left. Differences that show genetic divergence in just 30 years' time. Now, evolution isn't something that uh, happened a long time ago. It's something that happens every day. If you want to understand evolution in action, the process of forming new species, then the junco is the bird to study. We can learn a lot about sex, food, and death. Yourself. Sensory systems. Trait selection. We can learn a lot about disease ecology. Olfaction. We can learn a lot about beauty in nature from the jungle. 